Okay, um, so these, the, the two different calendars, do they um, at all have anything to do with the, the, the two different hemispheres of thinking, or, or how do they work together? What do you mean by the two different calendars? Um, the long count and the, the other one, I'm not sure what, what the other one is, the, the Tolkien. The Tolkien? Yeah. The, the, two, the sacred 260 day calendar? Yes. Well, the sacred 260 day calendar, that's the calendar that they have been using throughout this time. This is the calendar that has been passed down uh, through the generations. And it's a daily energy calendar rather than um, a long, uh, 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 long-term calendar. Uh, no, I wouldn't say that they are different hemispheres of the brain. Um, you might say that it's Solkin, uh, which is sort of a combination of two different calendars, the 13-day count and the 20-day signs. Um, and for instance, today then we are on the day one kib, which means one owl, uh, meaning that today, when I say one here, it means today, on this particular day, starts a new 13-day count. Um, but the, the, these 13 and 20 uh, cycles, they combine to create 260 different combinations of, of day signs and numbers. And <clears throat> each of those have an energy. And it's really those energies that the, the new day keepers are trained to know about. And uh, the, these 260 day uh, energies, they are more like a matrix of the energies of time. And, uh, they, uh, it's a matrix that is applied to different time periods. And so the long count is an example of, of one calendar, uh, of, of one time period, which the, the matrix of 260 energies have been applied to. Um, so if, if I am to... Um, give some kind of an example. So the, 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 the long count can be subdivided into 260 different 20 year periods. And so uh, the last of the 260 uh, energies is 13 light or 13 ahau uh, or ochlahun ahau. And uh, <clears throat> so the la last of these the 260 20 year periods started in 1992 and that is the energy of, of 13 ahau so uh, that may give you an idea the the energies of the of the sacred calendar combine with different time periods to give them the, a certain role in, in the evolutionary schemes Okay, I remember from um, Ian Lungold's presentation, uh, The Mayan Calendar Comes North, where he was talking about, um, I think, the cycle that we're in now, where what I took from it was he was explaining how um, ethical thinking and ethical behavior would overcome uh, the sort of power elite structure that's in the world right now. Can you talk about that a little bit? Well... It's a, no, I think uh, we're living in a time when uh, a lot of uh, secrets will be revealed. Um, and it has to do with the fact that it, it would be a little bit complicated here without pictures to, to demonstrate. But um, it, it has to do with the fact that um, each wave carries a certain polarity, creating certain dark compartments, you might say. Uh, dark compartments either on the level of the planet or on the level of the human individual. And so uh, it, it's, it has fostered a certain, uh, a certain, uh, certain hidden dark compartments, if you like. 
and we're living in a in a in a, in especially in, in a way that uh, that that creates a, a, a transparency and uh, what this means is that things are uh, coming up to the surface things that have been hidden uh, uh, are, are becoming visible uh, uh, things that have been kept secret for, for a long time and I also believe that this is something that will intensify much uh, uh, as we go into the ninth wave uh, and uh, it, it's not over so to speak um, but but um, um, I would probably need a little bit of, of uh, pictures to demonstrate exactly how uh, what the thinking would be here okay and how can we um, begin to uh, practice the Mayan calendar and use the Mayan calendar and and how would that how does it benefit us to to do that well um, I think it's it's all about uh, I think it has to start with a desire to align your life with the cosmic plan um, in my view and I think I have demonstrated this uh, with a lot of evidence that the cosmos develops according in accordance with the different energies that the, the Mayan calendar is bringing forth. It's those energies that are propelling us into action, in, in propelling us to certain kinds of creativity uh, according to patterns that we may learn and, and understand. Um, so if you want to align yourself with the cosmic plan, I think it's very I personally believe, because I think there is so much evidence that the cosmic plan is charted by the Mayan calendar, that then it becomes a good idea to get into the rhythm of the calendar. And if, especially, I, I believe now that we are approaching the ninth wave, the highest level of, of the evolution of consciousness in the Mayan calendar system. and. Um, if, if we want to be part of that way, which I believe is designed to create a kind of unity consciousness, uh, in a sense a return to the Garden of Eden, uh, not materially speaking, I don't think we would be sleeping out on the ground, but in, in the sense of seeing the unity of all things, uh, in the sense of, of, of the uh, uh, separation uh, uh, disappearing. Well, if, if that is so, and I think there is a lot of evidence to suggest that, well then we would want to be part of these waves. And a good way of, of being that is to, to, um, is to align your life and get into the rhythm, follow the calendar on a daily basis and say, today it's one kib, okay, this is a seed setting day because it's a number one. And so, okay, it's a kib, it's the wisdom day, it's a day of, of, of uh, intuition and, and, and so forth. And, and get these rhythms into your bones. Uh, because that's what, what will help your alignment with the cosmic plan. But it's a choice, I would say. You know, if, if, if your goal in life is to have a, a, a Maserati and, and uh, uh, tr drive as fast as you can, you know, I, I, shouldn't, I should not recommend that you use the Mayan calendar because it will take you away from that goal and, and it will instead put you on, on the what seems to be the higher purpose of the universe. Uh, 